Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. That's all about lysosomes. Now we will talk about the fourth cell organelle of the endomembrane system that is vacuoles. So let us now talk about the next important cell organelle in plants that is vacuoles which is again the last part of the endomembrane system. So what are vacuoles? These are fluid filled membrane bounded sacs. So again they, these are like containers as I was talking about vesicles right. They are not, nothing but containers which are membrane bound. Now vesicles can be secretory vesicles which are containing something to secrete that out after some time. They can be transport vesicles that is they contain something to transport it from one place to another. In case of vacuoles, they are again membrane bound containers, but they are filled with fluid. Now you might be wondering, why do we need to have containers filled with fluid? We will see what is there in the fluid. There is something very, very important stored in that fluid. They consist of water, sap consisting of minerals, sugars, amino acids, proteins, etc. Basically, these vacuoles are used to store the food for plant. So whatever food plant prepares, that is the, the storehouse of the food is the vacuole. And that is why vacuoles occupy a large volume of the plant cell. If you look at the uh, plant cell, you will see that the blue colored vacuole, which is shown in the picture, is occupying almost more than 50% of the plant cell. In some cases, it occupies up to 90% of a plant cell. So the remaining 10% is occupied by all other cell organelles. They also consist of toxic or waste segregation, that is the waste materials and all those things are also kept separated inside them. So now here you can look at this picture where you can very clearly look at this blue colored big vacuole. Now this is your vacuole and this membrane which surrounds the vacuole that is known as tonoplast. So it is a specific name is given to the membrane which surrounds the vacuole. Now if you ask how are these vacuoles formed, they are again formed by enfolding of some portion of the cell membrane. So this is your cell membrane, the yellow colored structures. So some portion of the, the cell membrane itself gets folded and they form a structure like this. Let us see whether we see them in animal cells or not. In animal cells we do see vacuoles but they are not that big as in case of plant cells. They are quite small in size. However, there are animal cells which do not have vacuoles. So vacuoles are not uh, compulsorily present in animal cells. They can be present, they cannot be present. If they are present, they are generally small in size. So look at paramecium, which is an animal cell where you see vacuoles. Now this is a digestive vacuole. Again, this is a contractile vacuole. So each of these vacuoles has a different purpose. For example, the digestive vacuole helps in digestion of food, whereas the contractile vacuole helps in excretion of the waste materials from the body. So vacuoles can perform a lot of variety of functions rather. Again, if you look at an amoeba, they have a contractile vacuole like this. So the presence of vacuole in animal cells again depends whether it is there or not. If it is there, whether it is used for excretion or it is used for uh, storing food or engulfing food. So that depends from one cell to another. When you talk about plant cells, they are always large sized and there is a membrane called tonoplast which covers the vacuole. Now this presence of tonoplast is not uh, uh, noticeably seen in case of animal cells. 
again uh, in plant cells this membrane tonoplast is selectively permeable like the way it was for plasma membrane that is it doesn't allow anything and everything to pass through it because see when vacuole even you have such a big vacuole in a cell which is used for storage of uh, so many important things storage of your food then storing the um, waste product separately you just can't allow anything and everything to get into it So now let us quickly look at the significance of uh, vacuoles. As I already mentioned in plant cells, they contain cell sap, also provide rigidity to the cell. Now providing structural support or rigidity to cell is something very very required in case of plant cells. I have explained this before also that in plants uh, you need when when the plant is very young very small you would have seen that everything is so tender in the plant whether you talk about the stem whether you talk about the root whether you talk about the leaves everything is so tender so soft and delicate so as the plant grows it needs a lot of things in it which can support it structurally so you would see so many things are placed present in plants to support it structurally, to provide it rigidity. For example, the cell wall, the vacuoles again, vacuoles also provide some rigidity from its end. Storage of amino acids, sugars and proteins. Whereas in animal cells, they are used for, to maintain the water balance. For example, expel excess water or wastes in protozoa, as we saw in the contractile vacuole. Ingestion of nutrients, for example, the food vacuole in amoeba. So it is also used for taking in the nutrients. So in animal cells, they uh, also serve a different type of role. Now it is generally seen that in young cells, there are many small vacuoles. But at the, as the cells become matured with maturity, the number of vacuoles join together to form one large vacuole. So that is how is the general observation. So this was all about uh, vacuole. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.